All right. Well, welcome, Pine Richland seventh grade students and parents. We are now beginning our scheduling process for the 21-22 school year. We have a new theme for this year. We moved on from Dare to Dream to Live Your Dream. So you voted for that. I'm excited to uh, move through. And I know we have lots of dreams about the 2022 school year uh, and getting back to uh, somewhat of a normal schedule that we've been used to in the past. So we really look forward to uh, the fall and seeing what the 2021 and 2022 school year looks like. So to today's, today's scheduling uh, video that you're receiving here today will walk you through the forms that you need for your course request. So at this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Menzinger. He's going to walk you through the next few slides. All right. Hello, seventh grade students and families. We are here to bring you an update um, from last year. We are no longer using our paper course request form. It is now going to all be integrated into our Sapphire student information system. And so we have a couple slides to navigate you through that process. This is the first one. So the way that you will access this is through your parents' community web portal page. So when you go in, you'll see something that looks like this, and you'll see when it's available, the next year course request form button that is, in, that is circled on this slide. So you simply click on that, and it will take you to the next slide that we're going to show you. And so that's where it gives you uh, some directions about your course request form for the upcoming year, which for you all will be your eighth grade year. And so you'll just click the fill out course request form button that is circled on this slide. And it will take you to the form where you'll have some decisions to make and some things to review. And so the first section of that form has to do with your required courses. And so this upcoming year is a little different than your seventh grade year. In your seventh grade year, most of the courses had one level to them, and there weren't really many decisions or recommendations that had to come out of those courses. However, this year, there are two levels for most courses, with the exception of math, that has four. And so those levels generally break down into current and compacted extended courses. And so you'll see on the screen here that you will be recommended for a certain level in math, English, social studies, and science. And there will be a check mark next to the course that you're recommended for. We strongly recommend that you go along with those recommendations. However, if you do have any kind of requests or questions about them, you will see on the special request box that is listed underneath each course, that you can check that box and then put a little comment. And if you look under social studies, you'll see that done for you. There's a special request text, gives you a little comment box and you can say something like, um, I have a question about my course request or I would like to take, in this case, American History 8 current instead of American History CE. So that's how you can wave down if you'd like to move from a CE to a C course. In order to wave up, there are a couple more steps that you'll have to work with your school counselor on how to navigate. This slide here is your mandatory courses uh, for eighth grade students. So just like last year, you, you have your unified arts courses that meet one time per nine weeks. Uh, and instead of having a foreign language opposite your PE, you will have health every other day. So those are your mandatory courses. The elective courses additionally that you'll have for next year is, and you'll see this world language under world language. If you're recommended for reading, there'll be a check mark within the reading box. You, you will not be eligible to take the French one, German one, or Spanish if the reading is selected. If you're not recommended for a reading course, you'll have the option of selecting one of the foreign language courses, any of the any of them that you are interested in. So you just click on French if you're interested in French, or if you're interested in Spanish or German, just click on that button. Under the music tab, uh, similar as last year, if you're interested in taking academic support on the left hand side, you just click on the academic support box and you're done. If you're not if interested in taking academic support, 
of support and you want to take a full-time band course or orchestra, you just simply click the box and that's all you have to do. If you're interested in taking a band, part-time band, part-time course, on the right-hand side, you'll, you'll be able to pick two music courses if you'd like to. So you could take any option. You could do or, orchestra and chorus or orchestra and band. Just select on two of those boxes on the right-hand side. Please remember you cannot, kill, connect, uh, cannot pick band part-time, and then have part-time academic support. Uh, academic is, support is only available uh, as a everyday course. And then once you've done those steps that Mr. Menziger and I have just went through with you, please save the course requests and submit those. And your scheduling process has moved on from the paper to electronic, and we'll have all the information recorded there. Thank you very much. And we look forward to working with you during the 2021-2022 school year. Thank you.